prayers, you know, answered prayer, getting your prayers answered. And you know, it can get so frustrating when your answers not, and when your prayers are not being answered. Because in the book of Luke chapter 18 verse 1, uh, Jesus tells us that, you know, men ought always to pray and not to lose hope. You can lose hope. Personally, I've lost hope in a few things. When you pray and you never get answers, you pray and you never get answers. Any human being can lose hope. And you know what, one day I think the disciples had observed the disciples of John the Baptist praying and praying and they, and they had observed their, 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 their teacher, they used to call Jesus their teacher, praying. So they went to Jesus and asked him, teach us how to pray. And Jesus taught them how to pray, meaning there is a formula to praying. And Jesus taught them how to pray in the book of, uh, that is in Luke chapter 11, as well as Matthew chapter 6. Jesus taught them how to pray. The Lord's Prayer is actually a formula on how to pray. It is not the prayer itself. It's just a formula. It's a guideline. Even though Natakana Wombe, uh, uh, our Father in heaven, Allah be your name, your kingdom come, your, uh, your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. That is a formula. That is not a prayer. So let us not get confused. I know most of us have been told that that is a prayer. That is just a formula. Ni kama tu kuna formula ya kupata one plus one. The board must thing. Yes, this is the same thing when it comes to prayer. So Jesus gave them a formula on how to pray. But on what to pray for. That is when the Holy Spirit now comes in to teach you on what to pray. You know, the Holy Spirit searches the heart of God. That is in the book of First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10. The Holy Spirit searches the heart of God and then it gives you what to pray for. It guides you on what to pray. So Jesus gives us a formula how to pray, but the Holy Spirit teaches us what to pray for. In that way, you get your answered prayers. So your prayers answered, all right? The Holy Spirit teaches us on what to pray. And most of the time, when the Holy Spirit teaches us on what to pray for, most or not most of the time, all the time, it leads us to the Word of God. So the, the Holy Spirit in Akulid Kwa, the Word of God, and always the Word of God will always lead you to the Holy Spirit. So it's a, like a complete thing. It's, it's complement each other. You cannot work with the Holy Spirit without the Word of God. You cannot work with the Word of God without the Holy Spirit. So Zopamoja Zinakuja Zina complement each other like this. So when Jesus teaches us on how to pray, the Holy Spirit comes in and teaches us on what to pray for. And mostly, the Holy Spirit always guides us with the word. With every situation that you're going through, the Holy Spirit will teach you. It will prepare word in your situation. Yeah? Every time, it always gives you that a Bible verse. Your situation, whatever situation you're going through, the Holy Spirit guides you on a word that you're going to pray for. Because it is very important to pray in line with the word of God. Tunanzanga hapa tukiomba, like today, nilisoma some of the day, next the president aka to lead in prayer. It's very important to pray with the word of God because God is not man that he should lie. God has exalted his word above his name. He, he cannot deny his word. Like, for example, in every situation, like, let me say, if you are sick, and the Bible say, by his stripes, you are healed. So it is the word of God. So when you go to prayer, you, you say, according to your word, Heavenly Father, you say, by your stripes, we were healed. And it, it's a past thing that tulipona kitambo. So you gonjo inafanya nini in the present circumstances. So when you say that word, you trigger God to answer his word because he cannot deny his own word. That way you, you get answered prayers. You get prayers answered. You, I don't know if you got, you're getting me. Like you pray, you, that, this, that circumstances that you're in, or that thing that you're trusting God for, the Holy Spirit is going to give you a word for that. You search the Bible, the Bible, and get a scripture, and then when you go to pray, you Quote that word of God. God can never deny his word. And Asema, he has exalted his word above his name. 
he is not man to lie, neither is he son of man to change his mind. If he has said it, he will do it. So he have, if he has not said it, he cannot do it. But always he has said it. So he's going to do it. So guys, Holy Spirit, Word of God, and how to pray when Jesus taught us. Like that, you get your prayers answered. All right, guys? Yes, we continue with this. We'll continue with this because God, ah, I like this God. God never answers your word. God answers his word. Guys, I'll just leave it at that. Right? And the church said? Amen. Okay. And amen. Amen. Mm. <laughs>